everyone. So in this video, I want to do a quick comparison between the direct drive and the Bowden 2. First, let's talk about the Bowden 2. So whenever you see the stepper motor and the hot end unit combined together with a very short tube in between, this is a direct drive. Some of the benefits would be a direct feed. So you see the location of the filament holder on the Ender 3. It's right above the direct drive. And that's much better to feed the filament in and you don't have to do the workaround and printing upgrades to route the filament to the Bowden tube on the side. So that's one of the benefits. The other benefit is better retraction. Because the tube is very small, so the retraction is more effective and it works better in general. In addition, you can support wider range of filaments. The reason it can support wider range of filament is again that short tube that the motor needs to push the filament through so it doesn't have to work with a longer distance. So for example, you can support flexible filament like TPU and other type of filament better than the Bowden tube. Some of the cons for the direct drive are usually this is heavy for everything to be here and it increases the vibration when this moves. So as this moves back and forth, the vibration and the momentum is much more. Now, while the direct drive is more reliable and doesn't jam as much, however, when it does, it's definitely more maintenance and it's more difficult to get this one unstuck when it jams. So that's one of the downside or the cons to having a direct drive. Now, let's go talk about the Bowden tube real quick. This is a Bowden tube setup. So you can see the filament feed is here and you have this long tube to go to the hot end. So the stepper motor that pushes the filament in is not combined with the hot end. Instead, it's on here on its own. So that's the Bowden tube setup. Some of the benefit here would be very easy to get unjam or unstuck because all you have to do is take the tube apart and pull the filament out. Usually really simple. So it's easier and less maintenance. That said, this does not support as much of filament range just because of the long tube. So flexibles don't really work well with this. In addition, one of the benefit here is this end or the hot end is very light and more reliable and can move on its own without having to carry that extra weight of the motor being on top of it. Now, this is the Ender 3 Max. So they did fix the position of the filament holder here. So that's not really a problem for this printer. However, this used to be a problem for the Ender 3 and a lot of people would print an upgrade to extend the way the filament gets fed into the stepper motor. These are some of the differences. Let me know in the comment below if you have any questions or if you're considering changing from direct drive to a bone tube or vice versa. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.